It's interesting. Uh, Giorgio Maloney, the um, the uh, Prime Minister of Italy, has been. She was a great hero of the uh, of the conservative side of politics. I mean, uh, she talked a bigger game, I must admit, on the election campaign than she has uh, actually done in in office. But still. Um, Albanese has reportedly not been one of the world leaders she's given a special invite to as host of the next G7. That's the first one we're going to miss for a, for a while. What do you make of that? Well, if those reports are fully confirmed, that's quite disturbing. We've been to so many G7 meetings that you'd think we were almost an automatic entrant. But I don't think the Albanese government has taken very seriously in national security. Um, they're their uh, preparation for AUKUS are extremely feeble and poor. We haven't increased our defence budget uh, substantially. You know, $5 billion over the next four years, allegedly, is, um, is just nothing at all. Won't even make up for the ravages of inflation on the defence budget. Um, and we're a pretty weak partner. Now, uh, you know, the Albanese government has a good political alliance with the Biden administration, both left of centre or centre-left governments, that's OK, that's good. I'm glad that they're getting on well with the Americans. But um, Georgia Maloney, she's a pretty good centre-right leader. Um, I'm possibly marginally more sympathetic to her um, because I think, you know, she's constrained terribly by the Italian constitution. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't. Why, why would, really, honestly, why would she invite uh, the Albanese government? But if, if, if it's true that she hasn't invited them, that's a diplomatic failure by Australia. And that means that we are less influential in the Albanese years than we were in the Morrison, Turnbull and Abbott years. That's, uh, that may well be the case. We shall see. Greg Sheridan, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Andrew.